Hello everyone! Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to Six Facts About. I am Brandy, this is my handsome friend Jared, and we are going to talk about a very, very special subject that hits close to home. We are going to talk about cortical visual impairment, or CVI for short. And the reason why this subject is so special to Jared and I is because Jared actually has CVI. Mm. Um, and we're going to have his mom actually join us this week so she can explain more to you guys what CVI is. Um, because she does a way better job at explaining it than I do. Like, she's excellent at, at explaining this. So you guys will hopefully walk away with a whole new understanding of this condition. That's why Jared has his eyes closed through the video. Some days he has good days, some days he has bad days. So um, today is one of those days where, you know, he's opening and closing his eyes. He he may focus on a few words, but then he, his eyes get really tired, and so he prefers to keep them closed. But that just makes his other senses, like, more elevated. Like, he, he can hear very well. So whenever his eyes are closed... He's really listening to what's going on. We are going to have his mom come and tell us a little bit about uh, what it is and how it affects Jerry. So, we still have our facts. So, it's going to be like a, like a question and answer thing. So, fact number one. CBI is a neurological form mm -hmm. of visual mm -hmm. impairment. So, Charlene is going to explain mm -hmm. that to us. Mm -hmm. From the eye to the brain, that nerve is like the highway. The eye sees the object, and by the time that object goes on that highway to for the brain to interpret it, there's like potholes in okay. the in the highway, and so the, ob the whatever he's seeing, the image breaks up. So by the mm. time it gets to his brain, he doesn't understand what he saw. Okay. So that's why if you put that same object in front of like something that's bright yellow. By the time that object gets to his brain, he's able to say, okay, oh, I know nice. what that is. Okay, okay, so that is why it's important to have like it up against like a brighter background mm -hmm. or something like that for it to stand out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what colors do you uh, notice that he gravitates toward, that he responds better to? Um, bright colors, mm -hmm. <laughs> like yellow, um, almost like fuchsia pink. Okay. Um, like almost like neon colors, he does better, or any um, color behind like black mm -hmm. um, as a background. You could do like a red on um, black, okay. yellow on black. He could see better, or you could put something um, um, like a green on a yellow. Mm. Um, so anything that would help him see those colors okay. will help him understand what he's saying. Okay. Now do you notice like I notice that sometimes when he's taking a shower he'll no, he'll like stare up at the light and stuff. Do you notice that he'll stare at certain objects or like do you have to put the object um, at a specific place in front of him for him to like see it better? Yes. Um, we know like, like when he sees, he sees almost like through a uh, what do you call that? Uh, kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> there's certain areas in that kaleidoscope that he can see better. And we realize that he, on him, he can see better if you show him things to the left of him, or if you show him things almost like up on top, um, in front of him, but up high. Okay. Um, so that's where he seems to have good vision. Um, when did you first notice that something, you know, was kind of going on with his vision did you notice right away when he was uh, like a kid um well because he was a preemie mm -hmm. um they knew that he was um had um vision issues um when he was a baby we didn't know the extent of it until he was probably about one and that's only because i knew when we would walk i had a kitchen that was all yellow and every time i walked into that kitchen he just lit up mm -hmm. his he popped his head up. He's like his whole world opened up. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, when he was about a year old, he had went back to the doctor, and that's when they found out that yeah, he does have uh, cortical vision impairment, which is CDI. Okay. Now, how did he do on his vision exams? Did he? Because um, I read somewhere that most people with CVI they'll have a normal vision vision exam, like they could see the letters and everything. So that's what makes it confusing or harder to diagnose. 
Um, yeah, because they normally say, because I, I ask the same questions, well, okay, does he need glasses? And they're like, you know, glasses doesn't fix CVI because it's, uh, it's a brain issue. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, a nerve, you know, the yeah, nerves logical. and the brain and everything. Mm -hmm. So um, some kids do have perfect vision. It's just where their vision in that kaleidoscope is mm -hmm. or what colors help bring those objects out um, for the brain to under interpret what they're seeing. Okay. Um, but now, he, unfortunately, he does have um, glasses because a lot of people who do have CVI um, when they're children can become nearsighted as they get older. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope that this week's uh, lesson was informative. I know I enjoyed it. Now people understand a little bit more about uh, your visual impairment. That's exciting, right? <laughs> So if you guys have any questions or if you know of anyone that has CVI, please share your experiences in the comments as well. We, we're very interested in knowing, um, you know, hearing your experience. So before I go, Jared has both TikTok and Instagram pages. His tag for both is Daredevil on Wheels, and that's Daredevil underscore on underscore and Wheels. So please like and subscribe to both of his pages. His numbers are getting up there. You guys are really helping to make that happen. So Jared and I, we both appreciate the support that you're giving both of us. And we promise to keep these facts coming, okay? So stay tuned for next week's lesson. We're going to have some more facts, and we hope you enjoy those as well. All right, see you next week. Bye.